today I'll be uh, making a video for RetroPie and then I'll be trying to run a uh, Sega CD emulator on RetroPie so I'll show you how to do that now so when you first get the get your BIOS it's gonna be in this format right here you're gonna get all this but you could ignore these right here and you could ignore that what you want is just EU MCD1 JP MCD1 and US SCD1 so these are the three files that you want so I'll be putting them into another folder like here and what you want to do is you want to change the name you also want to keep this file you want both so let's see so this is where I got the information so this is for Sega CD it has to be in this it has to be in this name in these names and uh, this is for the Genesis plus GX emulator and there's two actually and also the Pico drive emulator and the name for Pico drive emulator will be at, like this in the BIOS and this is um, what it comes with comes in anyway so you don't have to worry about Pico drive but for Genesis Plus X you do have to change the names and I'm going to go back so I have this and as I said, I said I'm going to change the name this is EU I change it to that and this is JPMCD I change it to IOCDJ that's J for Japan E for Europe and uh, for US CD1 I change that's US so it's uh, bio CD U and if you see the underscore right you have to have the underscore in there and everything so next thing I move these files in there too and then what I do now is I need to go into Retro I go into the BIOS folder and I just take all this and just dump it right into the BIOS folder. So I already have them. It shows that, so it's in there. Now it's in there. And then for the ROMs, I just go to ROMs. And all the ROMs for Sega CD are in the Sega CD folder. And um, these are the ROMs that I have in there so they're basically CD images and uh, basically uh, when you go to RetroPie and go into Sega CD you'll see just one file so you just click on that to start the ROMs which I'll show you next and before you do that after you get everything in all the ROMs and the BIOS into your RetroPie you just restart your RetroPie and all the settings will be safe uh, in effect after you restart it so that's basically it and you can run the ROMs from there so I'm going to go to my emulator I mean I'm going to go to my uh, RetroPie and show you the next part okay now let's try Sega CD on RetroPie.
Okay, that's good. That works. For Sonic. Hmm, that's not working. Let's try it again with a different emulator try it with Pico Drive this time and see if that works okay that works I guess it's not going to work. So there are some problems with that game. Try racing aces. So I'm using the Pico emulator. Okay, that works. Uh, go back to Sega CD. For Batman Returns. This time I'll use a different emulator. I'm going to use Genesis Plus GX. Back in the early 1990s, CD-ROMs were like the big thing. I guess that's why they came up with Sega CD. Game appears to have jammed or something. I don't know. Let me get out of here. Let's try a different emulator. Try running it with Pico Drive. See if we see a difference here. Maybe it's low. Okay, this this one works. Oh, 
All right. Works. It shouldn't have any problems running it because this is a Raspberry Pi 4. And that shouldn't have any problems running Sega CD at all. Afterburner 3. I always like the Afterburner game for Sega. Alright, that's good. It works. The last game I'll be testing is Samurai Showdown. The Sonic didn't work because there's a problem with the ISO file. This is the uh, first the Samurai Showdown game. I used to play this game a lot back in when I was going to college. They had this in a cafeteria and I used to play it all the time. course uh, it's reading the CD-ROM and CD-ROMs were pretty slow back then I guess it's emulating it Okay, that works great. Okay, pretty much works. Most of it works. This is for RetroPie, for the Raspberry Pi. So I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4, 2 gigabyte version. So, okay, it works. So, anyways, thanks for watching by Ace1000KS1975 signing out.